What's going on, y'all? Y'all see me? It's your boy. It's the book. I'm a little tired, y'all. Long day at work. Had to come home, go walk, and do my little exercise, get myself together. So, God has not forgot. It's a song that says God has not forgot. You know, it goes like that. So, me and my son are not walking. So, I wasn't, he wasn't delving into me today, like, more like he was Sunday. So, I'm watching, I didn't make it to church, just so y'all know. I ain't gonna fabricate them like other folks. I'll be at church every Sunday. No, I don't. That would be not the Lord's work, me telling you all that. So what he was making me focus on, hold on, let me get a little closer so y'all can understand. So what God had me focusing on was something the pastor said Sunday. She said, um, there are a lot of good people who aren't saved, but there are a lot of saved people who aren't good. I want y'all to think about that for a moment before I get into this. So when Mashana now was showing me, he's like, look, he said, I ain't forgot you. So God, like, I haven't forgot you. So the things you've been praying about, things you've been asking about, they're there. He said, but I'm going to show you an example. He said, you remember Joseph in the Bible? I was like, yeah, that's uh, Jacob's boy. That, that, that's his one. Of his, that's almost his baby boy, I think. He said, yeah, that's, that's my guy. So Joseph was like 17. Long story short, his brother sold him. They wanted to kill him. One of them stopped him. That was God intervening. Sold him to a band of gypsies, whatever you may want to call it. He ended up in Egypt. He ended up, uh, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but in his household, his wife lied. Said Joseph made it advanced to her. Bam, he ended up in the joint. He locked down. He, and then not only did he send him to prison, they sent him to the inner prison. So not only was he in the joint, they sent him basically to solitary confinement. So a couple of cats worked for the king, messed up. So they ended up down there in solitary. But they had dreams. Joseph interpreted dreams. And lo and behold, everything come true. But on the way out, Joseph telling both, hey, especially the baker, because I think, no, the butler, that's who, uh, who was still who got allowed to be restored back to the position with, for, uh, for the king. So he said, hey, don't forget about your man. So a couple years go by, king have a dream, boom. Dude like, hey, I know a man. He like, for he said, your, your boy down there, they got him in the, in, the, in, the, in their most dungeon. You know what I'm saying? He down in the belly of the well. So they bring Joseph up. He, he transposed everything to him. Be like, hey, this is what's going on. What your dream mean, this and that. So he moved him into the second highest. Only person above him would be the king. So I'm saying that to help y'all understand something. From 17 to 30, he done got bamboozled by his brothers. He done got sold. He done gone lied on about, about raping somebody, which he didn't do. Then he was left in the prison, and then he finally got remembered at the last second. But when he finally got remembered, see, this is what God told me to tell you. Like, he, ain't, he said, I ain't forgot you. He said, I never forgot Joseph. Joseph had to go through some things. See, sometimes the things that you're going through right now, you feel like God and forgot everything. Like, man, what's happening, God? I'm like, I've been doing this, doing that. Yeah, but are you doing it because he's pushing you to do it or are you trying to do it on your own recognizance? It's a real big difference when you doing it and when God's doing it. See, when you allow him to work, what he had to do with Joseph, and this is my own personal take because I done been to prison, so I'm going to keep it funky with y'all. It humbled me to a point where the things that I used to think may have entertained me wanted to do, I don't want to do no more. So in my take on it, maybe Joseph had to go to prison. It's something that God had to work up out of him. It's not that he did wrong, because he didn't do wrong, but sometimes you have to be in a place for a while until that thing that God wants out of you is finally gone. Remember what we talked talking last week, when you break it and then you through with it? That's maybe, I, I'm just, just keep the 100, just keep the 100, I feel, that's how I feel. That's just my, per, my personal opinion, how I view it. So I'm like, okay, Sean, and I hear you. So when you feel like that God done forgot you, which he really hasn't, and things ain't going the way that you thought they would go, why don't you ask him, what haven't I let go of? Or what did I break and be through with so you can show me that you haven't forgot me? Because he ain't forgot. A lot of times, I just, 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 I want y'all to pay attention. I feel like God be like this sometimes. See, I'm about to kick the camera. I, sometimes, I mean, he like, <sighs> this especially with me, I bet he like, this ninja here, like this, woo. He like he mine, but oh my goodness, this nigga on my nerves. I'm just, I'm just, just how I'm like. He like, dog, Jesus, did you see what he did this time? He like, it's my brother, Lord. He like, he still this, this. this. I'm gonna tell y'all something too before we go. One, God has not forgot you. The trial or tribulation that you're going through is to break you free from something so you can be used by God the way He wants you to. So I remember when I got out to join. My sister says she asked God, why did He save me? A uh, hustler, drug dealer, a uh, fornicator, uh, whatever you want to think of, a street dude, you know, do you know, I, I ain't going to get into everything, but you know what I'm saying, a real live dude out here. But she was like, 
He said, I told her I wanted to show, she said, God told her, I just wanted to show you I can save anybody. So now the Bible, remember this, I want y'all to pay attention to this. The Bible says, for many are called, but few are chosen. So I'm not here by happenstance. I'm not in front of this camera talking to you by happenstance. This is something that he chose for me to do. So I actually have pleasure and joy sitting there in front of y'all, and whether everybody like it or they don't like it. Sometimes you don't like it because, hey, it's called conviction. You feel what I'm saying? You're getting convicted. That's what's happening. But listen, it's all something he wants you to see, but also he wants you to know, don't quit moving forward because he ain't forgot about you. It's your boy. It's the book. Uh, uh, uh. That's the fake Harlem. Uh, uh. With soda on the side. Uh, shoulder shake. Till next time. Sorry, love, y'all. Peace.